Hello folks and welcome back to Dave's workshop and a bit of a different project for you today. Behind me we have our trusty E39 5 series that has been my daily driver now for the last five years and uh, recently um, after completing just over 80,000 miles uh, it started to uh, develop a few problems and one of those problems is that finally after um, I'm going to say after all of that time the brushes have basically worn down to a point on the motor that they are now only making intermittent contact now I know that that flies in the face of some of the established thinking that Oh, you'll be changing brushes every 5,000 miles and all that kind of thing. Well, not in my case. So, had a bit of a choice uh, whereby I could have decided to just get new brushes for the motor and drive it on as is, but uh, decided to go a slightly different route. Now, let's take a look at what we are going to do. So, on the floor here, we have our new motor. And as some of you of the more eagle-eyed viewers may work out, this is in fact an AC motor. So our trusty land yacht is now going to be converted from a DC, series wound drive system, to an AC induction motor. So why this particular motor uh, comes down to a bit of a challenge that would face most people if they were attempting this. And that is that DC systems typically run at a much lower voltage than AC. In fact, in this car right now, we have 60 uh, CA180FI cells, uh, giving us a nominal 192 volts. So these big babies. And uh, as some of you may know, typical AC systems usually run around twice that of voltage. Now, this particular motor uh, came out of a really horrible, or a horribly converted, I should say, uh, Peugeot van. And it has one rather good thing going for it. I don't know how well this is going to come out, but it has been wound for uh, 140 volts. And that is going to suit us pretty well uh, for our 192 volts, because that's going to be our MSAC. And so ideally it's probably wanting about 220 to 30 volts on the DC side. Uh, but we will get away with a little bit of field weakening and a gearbox. So we have our adapter plate made. I just have to cut out the excess material on that. Uh, so the motor bolts up nicely to that, as is my typical uh, strategy in these ways. We're using a clutchless uh, system, so going to be just the uh, usual uh, kind of a solid coupler. Uh, this guy obviously go in there and our motor then bolts up there with those four uh, fasteners that you see there and this is going to be our new drive system. Uh, this is a liquid cooled motor. Uh, we will also be using a liquid cooled inverter uh, so more on that in the next episode. So pretty much all of our DC systems have to come out. Um, the controller, which has worked perfectly. Um, one of my variants of the Paul Holmes design. The blowers, the charger, um, putting a new power steering pump in here. It has the venerable Toyota MR2 pump, which can't really keep up with the BMW uh, power steering rack's needs. 
um, when you're doing fast steering. So we're going to be changing to the um, Opel Zafira electric pump that I've used now uh, quite a few times, including in the E31. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of the intro to what we're going to be doing. I want to try to do this pretty quickly because uh, this is my daily driver and I need it back on the road ASAP. Um, charger wise, uh, we're going to change how we're charging this car. Um, I might end up using a Gen 2 Tesla charger. A little bit of a worry about running it at less than 200 volts. Uh, but we could run a few tests on that to see if it will remain stable there. Um, and also, I uh, picked up a very nice second-hand set of, uh, whoa, there goes a bottle, of uh, these BC coilover um, adjustable uh, suspension struts. Um, so they'll be going on the car as well. Uh, to help level out the weight distribution and stuff like that so to you know pick up the bottom and let down the top uh, we may need to get some different rate springs on there but they're pretty cheap pretty cheap but uh yeah i picked these up uh second hand from a guy breaking a very nice e39 um so got those guys and uh yeah so that's about where we're going uh, with the car at the minute. Um, I'll do a few episodes on this. Uh, it's not going to be a big long series. I'm not going to bore you with me taking out all this stuff, uh, but we'll come back when we have it mostly taken out. We're putting the AC system in. Be a little bit of fabrication uh, around that, but nothing too uh, fancy. And so uh, that's going to be about it. Uh, and I will leave you guys there. I'm going to tear into this now and we'll come back um, as we get some progress made. So until then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and uh, check out links in the description for my PayPal and Patreon should you wish to financially support me in any of these insane projects. And also there'll be links in there to my web shop and my github uh, where you can download all of the crazy designs that i do so until then happy dcac conversion